There was a time when people got sick and died simply because they didn't understand their body's relationship with plants. With the advent of better nutrition and clean water and antibiotics, people are now living longer than any time in history. The currently accepted dietary essential nutrients can lead to a relatively long life, but the body will still deteriorate with time and inevitably form some sort of defect that isn't reversible by today's standards. Depending on what part of the body breaks down, the medical field has a name for it. They have names like arthritis, ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, and cancer. Although they have their own names, these conditions are actually all just different symptoms of the same underlying root cause. They all develop because of a deficiency of cannabinoids. All vertebrates have an endogenous cannabinoid system that regulates all bodily systems and helps every single cell type communicate with each other. A healthy body creates a steady stream of endocannabinoids to feed its internal cannabinoid receptors and help everything in the body run properly. A lack of well-fed receptors in any location will throw off normal bodily activities and cause cells to malfunction. Cannabis has within it over 85 unique cannabinoids that are able to feed this untapped bodily system and make the body work better with itself. When cannabis is smoked, it is chemically changed to become highly psychoactive. Although smoking it does offer medical benefits, you can only tolerate so much before it causes dysphoria or makes you fall asleep. In its young, unheated, raw phase, it takes over 60 times the amount before any psychoactive effects can occur. That means the raw leaves and flowers of hemp and marijuana can be eaten or juiced in huge quantities to deliver a superdose of cannabinoids to the receptors without any high. The heated and the raw chemicals consumed together at the right amounts are able to prevent and reverse the progress of most diseases that are currently considered to be incurable. The federal government has cannabis listed as a Schedule I drug on the Controlled Substances Act when it blatantly doesn't fit any of the three criteria to be there. They claim it has a high potential for abuse even though it's less addictive than caffeine. No accepted medical use in the country even though over a third of the states now recognize it as medicine and a lack of safety under medical supervision even though no one has ever died from an overdose in all of history. There have been decades of petitions and lawsuits to reschedule cannabis away from its absurd Schedule 1 status so that it can once again be legally prescribed to any sick person in the country. But the DEA says they won't do it because there hasn't been an FDA-approved clinical trial to research whether or not it's medicinal in humans. But at the same time, they won't allow the FDA to do the testing, nor will they acknowledge the oceans of well-documented research already done showing its safety and efficacy. They've set up a catch-22 to try to keep cannabis away from us forever. But a rigorous clinical trial really isn't needed to see something so obvious. The millenniums of medical use, along with the discoveries of 21st century science, make it crystal clear that cannabis is here to help us. It isn't some man-made drug that should need FDA approval. It's a safe, natural vegetable loaded with essential nutrients that can instantly help all 7 billion humans on the planet. The feds have lied to us for far too long. We need to immediately end the idiotic, heinous, corrupt prohibition of cannabis on the national and international levels so that anyone on the planet can have legal access to this wonderful healing plant and include it in their diet. Until this law is changed, we need to ignore it and start growing wherever we can to feed our loved ones and save them. Their diseases aren't going to wait for the politicians to act, and neither should we.